it's hard when you sit in there and your body's dying and you, can, you don't know anything to do to save him. And I've been in that situation before and it's not a good thing. And it stayed with you forever. I was born and raised in Haiti. And um, back in 2010, I was in Haiti doing an earthquake. And I volunteered for first responders. So I've seen a lot of those kind of injury. We lost about uh, 200,000 200, people. Because uh, the morgue, the hospitals, everything was overfilled. And you had to put people on the sidewalk, just like they were laying there. Their bodies everywhere, people crying, screaming, help me, and everything. You know, they were looking for people to help out, helping taking the debris off people and pulling them out and everything, and basically keep them alive until the Navy showed up and helped us out and everything. So it was just very simple. When the Comfort ship came over to help out, there was a young coming doing triage and everything like that. Then so we started talking, and I was like, oh, you become a corpsman? Then they explained to me that, okay, this is what I do. I'm part of the, I'm part of the Navy, and then uh, we have power for humanitarian mission and everything. I was like, well, that's cool. I want to do that. So, so uh, everybody has their own way they teach. Like for me, like, I would not want to be the guy that just stand up there and make it like a one-way conversation, just keep telling you stuff and everything and everything, and you just got to keep it. So I try to make it as fun as possible. And the way I do that, you got to make sure you keep your audience interested. So you, so you give them a story. So you share your prior experience with them. You're like, okay, this is what I've been, this is what I've seen, and this is what I've done, and this is what I've been part of. And by telling them that, you keep them very interested in, what you, in whatever you're saying. You, you attract their attention and everything. I want them to take it serious because this is serious. It's a life in this situation. You never know when you're gonna be in that situation. So basically, like I always tell them, keep practicing because if you don't practice, if you don't train, it's a forgettable skills. So by knowing how to keep somebody alive, I think it's one of the best things you could do. I gotta save everybody. That's my philosophy. If I can get to you, I gotta save you. So that's why I work day and night and study, always learning something new. Make sure that everybody, make sure you can bring everybody back home. That's my philosophy.